Sure. We are Don and Carol Aiden, and this is my 1951 Ford Victoria two-door hardtop. Uh, this was the first year that Ford built a two-door hardtop to compete with the Chevy folks. We spent the better part of a year driving all over the countryside looking for a 51 Ford because I owned one when I was in high school. And then to our surprise, we found this one in Tucson after we'd been way back east looking around. But this is what people call a survivor car. It is not all original, as some folks say to me, but basically it's unchanged other than a few refinements to modernize it. It's had a 12-volt system put in it, and uh, it has a modern stereo in it, but it has the original flathead motor and a three-speed column uh, with an overdrive. And it's uh, quite a nice car. We've traveled throughout the entire western United States with this car. I think the last trip we took was up the Pacific Coast Highway to San Francisco and then over across to yes, Yosemite right. and camped there and came home. We also have a teardrop trailer which we sometimes pull with this car, but uh, it's turned out to be a great trailer hauler for us. So. Sure. And this is uh, Carol's 1955 Studebaker, which we found one year when we were uh, at the Route 66 run here in Arizona. We were in Seligman and I saw the trailer, or I saw the car on a trailer. Uh, the fellow who owned it at that time had trailered it over from New Mexico so he could sell it. And Carol had always wanted a Studebaker. So we ultimately uh, drove back up to the Four Corners area and uh, went over to New Mexico bought this car and we just drove it back when it was in its original condition. It had a six-cylinder motor in it when we bought it. We drove it back here from New Mexico and after about uh, two years we put that uh, 350 crate motor in it. So it's now an even better trailer hauler when we pull the teardrop and it has air conditioning in it which was one of Carol's requirements. <laughs> Arizona summer. Yeah. And this one used to also have a, uh, a three-speed transmission with an overdrive and now has a 700R automatic. So this is a very pleasant car to drive. In fact, it goes like a bullet if you're not careful. <laughs> it's still under construction. It's soon going to be painted black and then a few other details taken care of.